I was not expecting to find this many books. I also think I found a name for my podcast. Actually, I've been loving this product. We'll organize the bathroom because I hiking need that. Started using a gua sha. <laughs> if you guys know, you know. We outside. Good morning, guys. Welcome to a brand new vlog if you're new. If you're not, welcome back to the vlog. Trevor's over here putting stuff away. I was doing the dishes, but welcome to the vlog if you're new. Today, Trevor and I are actually, first we're gonna go to the library on post. I've never been to the library. <laughs> I've never been to the library. And I know that they at least have one book that I've been looking for. So I figured instead of me like hopping around all the time, I could also go to the library. Trevor wants to go to Home Depot because he's going to do his own little project soon. Then we're going to go to Sam's because there is a couple things we need, but I need to figure out what all we need to get from there. So that's the... That's the plan. Making a grocery list because we have a couple things. Also, if you can hear that, it's the people mowing the lawns outside. Is there anything that you can think of, Trevor, that we're going to need? Oh. Is there anything that you can think of that I need to put on this list? Uh, not really. Not that I can think of. A lot of the stuff that's on this list is like stuff for salads, like red onions, cucumbers, Trevor wants like relish. I need to get all of this stuff together so that I don't forget anything and I try to plan my meals this week. I'm gonna try to like plan them. Trevor said he wants enchiladas sometimes this week so I think that's what I'm gonna do. Change of scenery today. We're actually in the truck so say hi. Hey guys. Trevor's over here. We're gonna go to the library, at, uh, crazy, Saturday. But we're gonna go to the library because like I said, I, I've been looking for a lot of books and it clicked with me like, why don't I just go to the library on post and see like if they have any of the books that I've been wanting or looking for. So that way I don't have to go on a wild goose hunt every single time I come. So that's what we're doing right now. We're headed over there. We should be there in a bit. I'll show you guys. I don't think I'm gonna vlog inside the library because I feel like that's weird. So I'll, after I get out of the library, I'll show you guys what I got. And yeah, so that's what we're doing today. And then we are going to go to Home Depot because like I said, Trevor needs some supplies. So that's why we're actually in the truck because the supplies would not fit in my little tiny car. Y'all, I was not expecting to find this many books. I was like, I told Trevor, I was like, I'm probably only gonna find like one or two. La I found five so I'm going to be very busy <laughs> I'm gonna be very busy and I found a couple of the books that I've actually been wanting to read for a minute I couldn't find the book that I saw this morning because someone actually checked it out before I got here but I am I'm gonna be good for the month <laughs> and they also said that if for some reason I don't read them in time I can always just uh, extend the time that I am reading so I can extend the time on my checkout so lots of books I'll show you I'll share with you guys later what I'm reading I'm actually reading a book on my phone it's called regretting you by Colleen Hoover because I told you guys that I can read certain books on my phone so that's what I'm doing and now we're headed to Home Depot I've been home for a while but I wanted to show you guys the books that I got while I was at the library. We just came from Home Depot a little while ago, but he forgot a couple things. So he's going back to Home Depot and I decided to stay here. I figured I would give you guys a little overview of what I got. I got this book called The Curious Charms of Arthur Pepper. And I don't know if you guys have read this book, but I thought that the synopsis sounded really nice. So I'm gonna read that. I found The Vacationers, which again, I told you, I read the synopsis of all of these books and I thought that they would be interesting reads. You guys know I try to like, I really like fiction books. So there's also The Worst Best Man. I don't know. I thought this would be a cute book to read. A little light. So this one is, I think 300 pages. Yeah. About all of the books that I've gotten have been around 300 pages. 
Also, I've heard a lot of good things about normal people, so I got that book, and also The Secrets of Love Story Bridge. So those are all the books that I got. I'm all, I also have a, I have it on hold. It's called Such a Fun Age. I have it on hold, so whenever it gets back to the library, they're going to contact me and let me know that it's back so that I can go and pick it up. But these are gonna be the books that I'm gonna be reading very soon. After I read, the one that I'm reading right now, like I said, it's called Regretting You by Colleen Hoover. After I'm done with that one, I'll read one of these. I'm going to sit here and read for a little bit. I don't have a lot going on today, but also it's a beautiful day outside. It's supposed to rain all week this coming week, which is kind of insane to me because uh, if you guys know me, I really like when it's sunny outside and it's nice weather. I also think I found a name for my podcast, so that's really nice. I am still getting some things together. I need to, I need to make a, what is that thing called? A cover art. I need to make some cover art for a podcast, so for my podcast. So we'll see how that comes along. I don't, I don't know what I want to do. So you guys just wish me luck basically. I remember a couple weeks ago, I think I was talking to you guys about the fact that I thought that the Heritage products were making my hair oily. I can now confirm that they, they were not. Actually, I've been loving this product, the Heritage, what is this called? Heritage Leave-In Conditioner Pudding is what I have been using in my curly hair right now. I would show you all of this. Well, you know what? I will show you because real life. So <laughs> this is what my bathroom looks like right now. It's a hot mess mainly just because like, I don't know. In the bathrooms, we don't have a lot of storage. So I think I might actually organize below. I have horrible organization in this house. I think I've already told you guys that like several times, but I'm not really tripping about it because this is not our forever home. I always tell myself that like whenever I get stressed out about something in the house, I always tell myself this is not my forever home. So yeah, that's the situation right now. I need to organize all of this. But before I do, I obviously, I think I left my big tripod in my car. But I just wanted to tell you guys that I've actually done quite a bit of research on this brand. And I'm liking it so far. I feel like it's helped my curls a lot. They're not like as frizzy as they normally are because obviously when you don't put anything in your hair, it gets frizzy. I also have been using the shampoo and it's very good too. So I think next will probably be the conditioner and you guys already know I started using the heat protectant. I just put it in a different little bottle. I had to put it in one of these because... I don't know if mine was just that specific way where it like sprayed straight on. Like you know when you get a spritzer and it just sprays your hair like so harsh. Yeah, that's how mine was. So I just put it in a different bottle and use it as heat protectant. But highly, highly, highly suggest this. Especially if you have kind of like how my hair is. It's like curly mixed with wavy. But if you guys see how my hair is let's go get the also I have like vitamins and stuff in here let's go get the big tripod and then we'll organize the bathroom because I hiking need that I've been listening I'll probably listen to like a podcast just to chill out for a bit you and I in a vlog very soon are going to go through my closet because I feel like normally I would go through my closet like once every six months and we've been here for about seven or so I think so I think it's time. It's time to go through the closets. So I'll probably be doing that in a very soon, very soon in a vlog. Okay, we are actually going to wash these in a little while. But first, let's get all of my makeup out of this area <laughs> because it's a lot. There's a lot going on. We really need to just organize down here. But first, let's try to clear out as much as I can. That's makeup, that's makeup. This I probably need. There's obviously like certain things I don't need in here. Like for now I don't need this. Also I started using a gua sha. I started using this. I need to start using it more consistently but I'll let you guys know how I like this. I saw videos on this on TikTok. If I can find some videos I'll insert something so you can kind of see how it works. I'm 
telling you guys what can I do maybe I can put like some shelving here or something to help with this you guys let me know because I feel like I have no nothing in here like I can't like put stuff up so I'm thinking maybe if I put some shelving here in this area then maybe that would work you know listen to I'm gonna listen to Agamil I was listening to The Sesh earlier, which if you guys have not checked out that podcast, highly suggest. Their stories are really funny. Also, sorry I didn't do my bed. Maybe I should do my bed. But I have my makeup on there right now, so. So hard to see. I, for the most part, did a lot over here. I really need to wash my makeup brushes again, so we'll do that together. But first, I'm going to try, keyword, try, to tackle below here. I honestly haven't organized it at all, and you guys know how I am, how I organize the other bathroom. It's actually still looking really, really good. But this bathroom, because it's so small, like literally I can touch both sides of my bathroom because it's like that it's hard to make it functional if you guys know what i mean if you guys have any tips for stuff like that or if you've had like the same experience you guys know if you followed me for a while like what my bathroom in hawaii looked like my bathroom in hawaii was tiny but this one's even tinier <laughs> and this is the bathroom i use the most because this is like my bathroom trevor really doesn't really come in here very often but I want to make it functional. I want to make everything, like, kind of organized. You know what I mean? I don't want it to be, like, just, like, stuffed. So, let's try to tackle down here. Okay, yeah, I was like, oh. So, so it literally is like, oh. I'm literally so listening to the podcast, so sorry. But this is my life. So, this is what I have under here. I'm just going to give you guys, like, a little, like, view. This is what it looks like. That's my problem. I don't want a basket full of stuff. Like, I have, like, random stuff, and it's like, I need to go through it. And I, we need, we're going to do this together, because if I'm going to do something productive, someone else has to bear witness to it. This thing goes to, like, my curling iron, but I know I'm never going to use this, because I don't, I don't use it. Also, I have a random bag of, like, hair ties and stuff. Because when I moved from Hawaii, I just had that. So, it's like, I need to organize. Let's organize together. Also, I'm sitting on my rug, which I definitely need to wash my rug. So, there's a huge basket in here just full of stuff. I have this guy, but this guy I know I need because this is what holds, like, my, my product. Actually, I should clean this because the inside of that looks disturbing. So... We'll, we'll clean that together. This is my old curling wand, which I, I don't know, I've had this thing since high school, <laughs> I think. I'm pretty sure I've had this since high school. Let's see. See, just like random crap, like all of this makeup that I haven't even used in forever that can definitely be thrown away because it's probably years old. Let's look at what's in here, because I don't even know what's in here. More makeup. Given, I can use this stuff. Like, these are, I didn't even know this. You see, guys, this is what moving does to you. You don't even know, like, what you have. Like, oh my god. <laughs> if you guys know, you know. This is a nipple cover. That's so funny. I just have, like, the most random stuff like this is so old that needs to be thrown away stuff that i don't need also i know that probably people are like oh my god you're throwing away so many things but also i need to give trevor some of these because he's always asking me for chapstick also summer's coming chapstick's a must always um what is this i already know this bronzer yeah, it's probably way, way, way too dark for me. I don't know. But it looks like it would be too dark for me. And this looks like red, like orange. We can experiment with this later. We'll see. But you can see it right there. 
I feel like this is way too red orange and I've had this forever so I think we need to say goodbye I'm not a very like I don't know I feel like a lot of people are always like what if I can use this one day and I'm like really not one of those people that like holds on to a lot of stuff if I know that I'm not gonna use it which I like about myself because I'm not like it's not that I'm not a sentimental person it's more so just like I know if I'm not going to use something, I'm not going to sit here and, like, hoard it. I know that's done. Okay. So, there's this. I don't even know what this is for. I think these are just stick on the bottom of furniture. This is my Zote soap. You guys already know. There. This is my Zote soap. So, I'm going to use that here in a little while to clean my brushes you see you guys like just random stuff like this i had in the old house and i would put like my jewelry inside it but i don't have room in here to put this anywhere and in the other restroom i like that i don't have anything on there so like i can get rid of this like there's no point i'm gonna donate this there's no point in me having that that's actually pretty but this is very old i've had this probably like five years like i don't need that also i like having these down here the little foaming hand washes i literally got these for two dollars at ollie's which is why the stickers on there i still have this guy down here if i need it so i always like right now i have that one i'm gonna finish that one i have this one and then i have like these guys so um i keep toilet paper down here i have baby wipes because baby wipes um let's see what else do i have down here okay this is like for my feet it's like a little petty system if you guys know what i mean what we're gonna do is we're gonna put the pregnancy tests in the very back because i don't use them very often i just like having them also we still have a lot of these guys like I think I got these on a 10 pack and they are from Amazon so if you're looking for good makeup sponges this is what they are I talked about them in my Amazon favorites video but if you guys are looking for that I have like a diffuser for my hair but I really don't diffuse my hair I just like to let my hair air dry most of the time even though I know that it would make my hair like more luscious I just like keep having that down there this is what it's looking like now not too bad we're, we still got a lot of stuff to unpack and put in. It's not looking bad. So, I'm going to put, like, I like having the baby wipes down here just in case. I'm going to keep that roll of toilet paper, even though I could probably put it over here. This is, like, costco size Vicks Vapor Rubs, which I can definitely put in the medicine cabinet. For sure, I'm gonna put like my little petty thing in the little basket because I know that I'll get use out of that. I'll put this little guy in here as well. Now, what I think I'm gonna do is go ahead and get like the hair products. Like I told you guys, I think I wanna get some like shelving on the side over here and hopefully that'll help with like like displaying my my hair care stuff because I'm the only one that basically comes back here this is like my bathroom and now that I have room uh, I like having my basket of like feminine products right behind the toilet because just in case I need it or one of my friends needs something I like having them in reach so I think I'm gonna leave that there now what I have to figure out is like where am I gonna put all of this stuff Obviously, I need my foaming hand wash. I actually need to, like, wipe down the sink. And I have my Zote soap. I told you guys that this is really good for washing makeup brushes. And it's literally, I think, 99 cents, less than a dollar, if I'm not mistaken. And I've had this since I got back to Texas. And, like, this thing was thick when I first bought it. And I still have it. And it's been since September. I use this to wash my face masks and my makeup brushes so that's what I'm gonna do because I have a lot of like makeup sponges over here that I have to clean we're going to put this stuff away I also need to put the Vixes away also before I forget I wanted to mention this to you guys 
I've mentioned it on my Instagram, just not on YouTube, I don't think. I bought this Tiger Balm. This is what it looks like. It's so, so, so good for any aches and pains or like if you have something sore or something hurts. This thing is Vicks on steroids. Yesterday I actually had like a, if you guys don't know, I'm prone to getting like bad ear infections, especially during the summertime. And Trevor actually had a cough yesterday. It was just a cough. He's feeling like with all of the like pollen and stuff, he gets really bad allergies. Well, I felt like my throat getting a little bit sore. This stuff, I put it around my ear because my ear started to feel like it was gonna like a ear infection was coming along so I literally just put it on the outside of my ear and down my neck worked like a charm I've gotten so many of you guys onto this so if I haven't already talked about this on my YouTube or you guys didn't see the Instagram stories that I posted this stuff saved my life so I wanted to mention that and it's so small and you can buy it at Walmart I got mine at Walmart and I think it was like five dollars it was very very inexpensive but it's Vicks on steroids, just trust me. I like having like my heat protectant sprays, like my body lotion, obviously like my deodorant. Over here, I need this. Trevor uses that on the daily. And so even though it's not aesthetically pleasing, I'm gonna leave it here. Also, if you guys don't know, <laughs> this is my dehumidifier. If you guys are living in a house, an apartment, Highly, highly suggest getting a dehumidifier. It will save your life, just trust me. But I'm gonna leave this stuff here for now, even though it's not aesthetically pleasing at all. I'm thinking I am gonna try to get some shelving for this area right here, so that that way I can optimize my space. Now I can clean my makeup brushes. It, I feel like in here, a thousand times better. It looks so much better, okay. I'm gonna clean my makeup brushes, and then I'm probably gonna relax for a little while and read a book. Wish I could say I was finally over you, but that's not the truth. Mm -hmm. Everyone always keep falling in love again. What's wrong with them? I don't understand. Maybe it will pass by. Someone save me for a pass out. I'm too lonely to be done. I'm a drink at this page. outside I'm actually with Trevor right now Trevor I don't even think I told you guys like what project he's doing right now he saw this thing on TikTok that's a what's it called a speed loader yeah, it's a speed loader for ammo yeah so if you guys don't know Trevor has Trevor's been hunting since he was a kid so we're actually outside in the garage area so he's building hold on there's a glare right there. he's building that which is basically just a speed loader for ammo in certain guns and things like that. I've told you guys Trevor owns guns because he's he just loves hunting and he just ha has always had a passion for learning about different guns and things like that. Of course, in the most safe way possible. But yeah, so he and I own quite a couple guns but he's actually building this thing that is a speed loader where you can just like rapidly load, your, uh, magazines. load your magazines basically because when you're when you go to gun ranges or if you're just like practicing how to shoot and things like that loading your ammo takes a lot of time i don't know because i don't really shoot that often but he obviously grew up around doing stuff like that. So that's his next project that he's doing right now. So we're actually outside of our house, just hanging out together. I'm reading my book on my phone and he's just gonna be doing that type of stuff. So I'm just gonna be chilling, but I wanted to bring you guys out for a little while. And that's his new project. So that's why we were at Home Depot earlier because he was grabbing some supplies. And then he forgot some supplies, so he had to go back. So that's why I was in the bathroom doing all of the organizational things. But later on, hopefully, him and I will do the q and We do have quite a couple questions, so we'll do that before the sun goes down. But I'm out here with him because the weather's actually really nice right now. And it's not 
raining and yeah and all this coming week it's gonna be raining so I figured I would come outside read my book on my phone and just enjoy the nice weather because it's actually not too hot right now so that's what we're gonna be doing and Trevor's over here with all of his tools I don't want to like point outwards because like obviously I don't want people to know where I live so I'll sh probably show you guys later like how his projects coming along I never ended off this vlog, so I wanted to go ahead and do it now. I love you guys very, very much. If you're new, I hope you stick around and join my little family. And if you're not, thank you guys for always coming back. I love you so much, and I will see you super soon in the next vlog.